Welcome to The Power Of. Today I am talking about the power of knowledge. I love knowledge. I love to learn and gain knowledge. Getting knowledge is so powerful because it educates you, but also it empowers you to develop into the person you desire to be as well as to reach your goals. Knowledge really is empowering. And I mean, in this digital age, we literally have knowledge at our fingertips. Did you know that Google processes over 40,000 search queries every second on average? You know what, that adds up to over 35 billion searches per day. 35 billion every day searches on Google. And that's just such an easy, convenient way to get some knowledge. I mean, you can literally learn how to do anything on Google. And I mean, it doesn't get much easier than just typing in on your keyboard and seeing all the information that pops up. So Google is an easy way to get knowledge. One of my favorite ways to gain knowledge is by reading books. I love to read books. In fact, I'm gonna show you here some of my books that I read this summer <laughs> and on quite a variety of topics, but this one, uh, Steve Harvey, Jump, Take the Leap of Faith to Achieve Your Life of Abundance. So good, quick, easy read, great book and very challenging and encouraging. Uh, this one, Chase the Lion. If your dream doesn't scare you, it's too small. That's what Mark Batterson says. Very good book, very challenging. Uh, one of the last ones I read, how to talk to anyone. Little tricks to help you be a big success in life. This is a great handbook just for anybody. And my most recent one that's waiting to be read, Run Less, Run Faster. Doesn't that sound like a great thing? Run less but run faster? Yeah, I'm all about that. So that's some of the books that I read this summer and the one that I have waiting to be read. So much knowledge in books. I love reading. Bill Gates, one of the richest men on the earth, claims to read 50 books a year. And he says that's his favorite way to learn how to do new things and to get knowledge. So I'm pretty sure that if Bill Gates still needs to read 50 books a year to get more knowledge, that for sure I do. So according to Bill Tracy, this is what he claims that if you read only one book per month, that that will put you into the top 1% of income earners in our society. But if you read one book per week, 50 books a year, that will make you one of the most educated, smartest, most capable, and highest paid people in your field. Regular reading will transform your life completely. You know, a great way to do that is to choose the topic that you want to learn more about. Or topics, as you can see from the books that I have, um, I like to learn on a, a wide range, variety of topics. So choose something that you want to learn more about. And then commit to just taking 15 minutes a day to read on that subject. Now, this could be right before you go to bed. That's what I do. It helps me to just, you know, quiet my thoughts and just get my brain settled before I go to sleep. Or, you know, if you happen to sit in a staff room surrounded by negativity on your lunch breaks, why not take 15 minutes then to just find a quiet spot and go read? That'll have double the benefits for you. Or when you're waiting for your child at sports practice or music or dance lessons, I encourage you to be aware of when you go through your day and see if you can spot some times that you could get in some good reading to help you gain more knowledge. Another great way is to download ebooks and podcasts to listen to. Listen to them while you commute to and from work or while you do your workout or even while you run the kids to their events, then they'll get the learning benefits from it as well. So downloading ebooks and podcasts are another great way. Something else is you can listen to YouTube videos on the subject that you're trying to learn about. 
and you can do this while you're making supper, folding clothes, doing laundry, you know, while you're brushing your teeth, doing the dishes, getting ready for work in the morning. And it just makes those tasks that we have to do every day much more enjoyable. And you're accomplishing two things at once. There is a proverb that says, the wise store up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool invites ruin. None of us want to be fools. So let's store up knowledge. There are so many ways to gain knowledge that we really have no excuse for not knowing. And if you really want to learn something, you really want to be able to accomplish your goals and learn how to do that, then search them, read about it, dig in and get yourself some knowledge on those subjects. So what's something that you would like more knowledge on? Are you willing to make the effort and take the time to get it? If you want to reach your goal bad enough, you will. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you gained some knowledge here today.